Want to sound better on the drums? Then these grooves are going to help you with that. And we're starting right now. What's up everyone, CJ here, I hope you're all doing well. Every drummer is different. Some excel faster in their progress and some drummers need to take time to get things down. I think I belong in the latter category, so trust me, if you feel like it takes a long time for you to learn something, don't worry, you're not alone in this. So this drum lesson is gonna be about learning three fairly simple grooves that naturally just sounds good. Before we start, all my channel members out there, you'll get access to the click track, my drum track, and the transcriptions and the link in the member community tab. So if you're watching this and you're not a channel member, please consider joining to get access to some more content. This first groove is a real punch to the face. It's got attitude and it's got solid 16th note patterns with a kick drum. We'll start off with an eighth note subdivision on the hi-hat and then we're gonna move on to play 16th notes. If we look at the transcription, the backbeat is on two and four and the bass drum plays on the one E of beat one and on the and uh of beat two. Let's try it out at a slow tempo with an eighth note subdivision on the hi-hat and then we'll move on to the 16th notes and then speed it up a bit. Nice, groove number two. This is a classic rock pop groove that you've probably heard in a lot of songs. The bass drum plays on the one uh, the and of two, and the and of three. Backbeat on two and four, and let's try it with an eighth note subdivision before we move on to the sixteenth notes. All right, you guys, last one. This is a really funky groove, and it's gonna sound great both with the hi-hat and the ride cymbal. The hi-hat pattern here plays on the first three sixteenth notes of every beat. One E and, two E and, three E and, four E and. And you open the hi-hat in every beat. 
When you play it on the right cymbal, you play the bell on every and. The bass drum plays on the one uh and the three uh, and the ands of two and four. So you get that kind of a soca rhythm going. Backbeat on two and four. And when you're comfortable with it, you can add some ghost notes in there as well. Let's try it out. All right, my friends, I hope you have a great time practicing these grooves. Once you got them down, you can jam with these grooves for hours. A special thanks to all my channel members. Your extra support helps me keep this channel up and going. You'll find the downloadable content in the link in the member community tab. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated whenever I release a new video. If you want to start adding some ghost notes to your grooves, check this video right here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and good luck with your drumming. I'll see you soon.